Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Claw. Today I'm going to be reading for Aquarius. We have just gone into the new moon in Aquarius. So I thought I would start off with my lovely ear signs to get the ball rolling. And I'm literally in such good spirits today. So you're in for a treat. Um, let's start with the singing bowl, start as we mean to go on. Just remember to turn the volume down just a little bit so it doesn't hurt your ears, okay? Perfect. So this is for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus or if you're a cross watcher and you're interested in madly in love with or you just want to know how your Aquarius ex is doing then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask is that you only wish positive things on people, no negativity please because calm is it be and we'll end up coming back on the. I forgot to turn the light on, I know there's lots of lights in here but it makes a difference. <laughs> I'm lit up. <laughs> so let's get started. So I am running a competition for, um, I'm literally going to run through all the star signs while I'm running this competition, just to give something back to you guys to say thank you for everything that you've done for me and everything that, that you've like loved me and you've supported my channel and you've given back to me and it truly does mean the world. So I wanted to give something to you. So if you go into my community tab and you look at the first post, it's everything that I'm giving away and I would like to do a personal reading for the winner too. All you have to do is comment down below and literally put your Instagram tag or if you don't wanna comment down below your personal details, then you can contact me up here, which is at the Mama Core, which is my Instagram tag um yeah just contact me there inbox me a lot of people have done that already um and they've just sent me their email address or their Facebook or whichever you want to be contacted on so if you are the winner I can contact you and what I'll also do is keep all your details so you instantly get put back into the next competition as well because I'm hoping to do at least two of these a month if I can because it's obviously going out of my own money so I don't know how many I'm able to do just yet so we'll see so let's get started oh they want me to shuffle them even though I've done that already I'm in such a good mood guys I had an early night. I worked out yesterday. Oh my God, I had literally the best workout yesterday. Like the best. I was sweating, my work workout top was like drenched. I was doing my weights. I lifted like my most heaviest weight yesterday. I was so chuffed. And then I went on the treadmill. I was literally working out for two and a half hours. I came in, I was like, it's that the time. <laughs> I had my music on blaring. I've actually got my um my workout music in my playlists if you want to go and check it out. For Aquarius. So we got death, justice, two of cups, the knight of pentacles. And what in reverse? <laughs> what in reverse? <laughs> the Ten of Swords in reverse. Has somebody been working on themselves? Have you been working on yourself? I think you have. I think you have. I don't normally take reversals, but I felt that one strong. messages for my absolutely amazing Aquariuses please. I am an Aquarius sun so I always literally connect with you guys. Oh look what's underneath there. So they're going like that is it? So we've got the tower. 
Then we've got the Nine of Swords upright, Judgment and the World. This bottom one, the King of Wands. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So I'm seeing that you you really have been working on yourself with with this um, new moon in Aquarius. We're all going to feel more creative, and we're all going to be pushed to get out of our comfort zones or want to get out of our comfort zones. If you're stuck in a rut and you're in like a dead end job or you, you've been in a relationship for quite a long time that you're not happy in or you're not fulfilled in or even if it's a job that you're not fulfilled in you're going to be like have this inner like power this inner like want and should like better yourself like I can do better than this I, I, I want to be better than this. And you're just going to have like this drive out of nowhere. And they're just going to be getting in your car and you're going to be like, let's get this going. Let's get this going. And the universe is like supporting you and they're standing by your side. And they're, and they're listening to you. If you're, if you're wanting to be with a certain person or you're wanting a certain job or to move to a dream location or, I don't know, reunite with family members or I just see that you're, you're sad because you're not happy where you are or who you're with. So this tower moment's happening. You're closing one door and opening another you're literally so freaking chuffed to walk towards this tower. You're like, come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's let's triple these burdens on this tower. <laughs> Woo! Ready. Like, look how excited you are to go towards this tower. Because you know, once you chuck all the burdens, all the things that have been holding you back, once you chuck all these things on this tower, you know that you're going to be able to move forward. You know there's going to be nothing holding you back. There may be either contracting work or a toxic ex or like I feel like it's very karmic. You're in a situation that you're not fulfilled in and you're dreaming day and night. Even when you're in work or you're in a relationship with somebody else, you're longing to be with somebody. <clears throat> I'm not saying that. I am not. I am not saying that. That just came into my head and that is so rude. Oh my God. Fantasizing about somebody. And it's so, this fantasizing about somebody is so, so, I'm gonna have to put an 18 on this. I can see it now. You're fantasizing about somebody so much. Like if you can see this person online, if you can, see pictures of this person online or videos is even worse if you can see videos or hear this person's voice online <laughs> I know I can feel it mm -hmm. I can feel it <laughs> I just feel like you're on your phone and you're like you just like see like the latest video or the like uh, the latest picture or you're seeing something you're being updated by something that you have literally got so much passion for and like you see something on your phone and you're like, <gasps> you're like Sh shit no come on come on you can't be feeling this way you can't be feeling this way right just like literally control yourself and you're having to like drink or smoke or like distract yourself from it because you've been trying for so long to distract yourself literally don't know where we was what I was saying, what I was doing, any of it. I just, I literally, I can't, I can't say I was here or I was there because I don't know. I got distracted with uh, the delivery guy because I had two deliveries and I've ordered like um, protein powder. I've got um, new like protein bars, like gluten-free and stuff because I'm celiac. And um, I got the C4 pre-workout. If you want that like boost and something into having the gym to like really put a good workout in, um, I'll link it all down below because they are my favorite. And I got cookies and cream 
um, protein powder. Amazing. Love it. So, I got distracted because somebody had left a parcel on my door and it looks like it's been there all night. I live in like a quite a nice neighbourhood anyway. But, um, yeah, I was like, oh. Didn't even get, um, I got a ring doorbell and I didn't even get notified. So that was quite weird. But yeah, I was like speaking to my delivery guy going, that's weird. He's like, well, that ain't mine. <laughs> I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> um, so yeah, distracted, carry on, blah, 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 blah. I could talk for England. I could talk for England. Um, I'm gonna elaborate with Under the Sea um, Tarot by Julissa's Messages. It's all linked down below. Every single tarot deck I use. It's the new Under the Sea deck that she's come up with. It's absolutely amazing. And I love her readings, especially the 18 plus ones. <laughs> The way she talks it might be because I've been single for so long. Like, I'm not being funny, and I, I think like some of you are gonna resonate with this, but like, I haven't been with somebody for so long that I'm like really worried about when it comes to that time. Like, so all somebody's gonna have to do is like touch me, and I'm gonna be like, whoop. <laughs> I swear, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me lately, like, whew, feeling it lately, I'm feeling like a bit frustrated, okay, <laughs> I am, I am, I really am, temperance, I just want to have two more um, cards ruling the board, and the sun, Yeah. Is that it? Okay. Can I have clarity on this King of Wands? Can I have clarity for the King of Wands? Yeah. The wheel is turning in your favours, my loves, because of everything that you've gone through. Clarity on the Knight of Pentacles. So we've got judgment again. Let me put these down. So we've got judgment again, the seven of cups, the ten of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. Are you freaking kidding me right now? And I'm seeing this seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles is normally that card where somebody's coming in and they've got lots of options. Like you're not the only person that they've got their eye on. Um, but I'm not seeing this Seven of Pentacles in that way, or Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups in that way. I'm seeing this Seven of Cups as in, this is somebody that wants to have a fruitful life with you, work on your abundance. They want that higher level of commitment. It's like all these different cups are a, a thing they want to manifest with you. I'm just seeing they want to live their life to the fullest and they just see you as being that person they're going to do that with. And they're literally pulling their hair out because they're like, oh, I need to get this. I need to like, I need to like get out of my comfort zone and, and come forward and tell this person exactly how I feel for them. Like, look, this person's so frustrated, but I don't see it as they have lots of options. They want all this with you. <laughs> Because they want this higher level of commitment, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. It's like you're both on your own, you have everything. Everything that you've always wanted, you've worked really, really hard on your abundance, you're most probably really, really high up in your job, you're really, really stable, grounded, your, your life is very, very fruitful, everybody around you loves you, um, but you're missing that one cup. And that one cup is love. I know how that feels. <laughs> I just see you as being so happy and so content on your own. And it's almost as if, if this person that you're trying to manifest in 
doesn't come through, you're like, yeah, I'm going to be really good because I'm crazy about you and I can't stop thinking about you. Like, before I go to bed, all I do is dream about you. I fantasize about you. I think about what it would be like to make love to you. Don't show me. <laughs> Don't show me. Oh my God, I'm seeing it now. Guys, this is so awkward. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm seeing a um um a feminine that likes to be on top. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Right, Oof, clear the energy, clear the energy, clear the energy, clear the energy. There is like major, major fantasizing about each other. And it's not just like the feminine fantasizing about the masculine or just the masculine fantasizing about the feminine. I feel like there's a certain time at night, I would say... Around about 10, between 10 and 2 o'clock in the morning is like when you're relaxing and you, you try to go to sleep and you can't go to sleep and then you're like thinking about them and thinking about them and thinking about them and you're like consumed by them and you're like, oh my God, I literally can't get you off my head. And then it like this fantasy like comes alive in your head and you're like laying in bed and you're like... Mm. I'm on my own. <laughs> Most probably looking at their pictures online or pictures that you've saved on your phone. And don't try and make out that you haven't saved pictures on your phone of them. You haven't screenshot of pictures that you like. Because I know you have. I've just got told there's a certain video that you've listened to. For some of you, this video you can't even see them in, it's just their voice. And it's like, some nights, I'm so lost without you, I'm missing you so much, I just go to sleep listening to your voice. That's lush. <laughs> see, what is wrong with me lately? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, where's this going? Here. This King of Wands is this really, really strong, determined... I'm not saying that. Why is this so sexual? Oh my God. <laughs> Why is this reading so sexual? Oh my God. Um, he's a king of wands. Apparently his wand is quite big. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying any more than that because that's... My spirit guides are having a field day today with me. I've got a younger spirit guide. And all I can hear is him laughing. Because he knows I'm really uncomfortable. I know you're all feeling this major passion, this want, this lust just to be with this person. And the longer you you don't tell this person how you feel, you you don't come forward and you, you don't tell this person that, oh, I've got feelings for you, or, I, I wanna be with you. The stronger these feelings are getting and the more you try and hold back, the more you're gonna be consumed with wanting to be around them, being absolutely more or less obsessed with looking at their pictures or looking at their videos and I can feel it because you're so crazy about this person, you absolutely adore this person, you worship this person, you look at them and you're like, oh my god, you're something that I've dreamed about, you're the man or the woman that I have always Oh, oh, 
show you more boob than I want to. Hello. <clears throat> um, you're the person. It's like I see that you've got like this dream person. It's like, you know, when you grow up and there's like a girl band or a boy band. Like I used to be really into like NSYNC and the Battery Boys. And I used to be obsessed. Obsessed with AJ from the Backstreet Boys and there is something about a guy with a goatee or a beard. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. And they see you with a guy with a beard and I'm like, oh, okay. It's like my, it's like my quip tonight. It's like, okay, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I think you girls know why. <laughs> Just joking. I am not putting that in. Suzanne, remember to edit that out. And if you don't edit that out, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> this King of Wands is planning on coming towards you. He's already got all the wheels in motion. He's planning this trip and he's not just planning a trip I feel like he's planning a trip but he's very much planning a trip as in I'm gonna test the waters but you don't even realize what this person has got planned I see that this person is planning to come towards you but like really putting it on you but in like the sweetest of ways like, I'm here to support you, I'm here to nurture you, I'm here to do whatever I can for you, to, like, make a positive impact on your life. It's like I just see this person, like, looking at you, and I just see that you're both talking, and... You know, okay, when somebody really has an interest in you or they have passion or love for you because when you're normally talking to somebody and they don't have passion for you and they're not bothered about what you're saying and they're not interested they're most probably on their phone as you're talking they're most probably away with a theory somewhere but when somebody wants to give you the time of day when somebody really loves you and is very interested in you they will not just look in your eyes, but they will look like so into you that they'll be like, yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm here. What do you need? Let's go. Let's go. I'm sandwich, cup of tea, like anything. What do you mean to do? Like, do you know what I mean? Like they're like focused on you. They want to know how your day's been. They, they, they're listening intently. They're asking questions. They want to know more and more and more and more and more about you because they're more than interested in you. And that's what this person's doing. They're interested. Look how he's looking at that cat. He's looking at that cat, and I'm not saying you're a cat. I'm just saying that the, the way he's looking is that he's focused on you. He knows where he's gonna go. He knows the trip that he's planning on making is not just, I'm traveling here. It's not just, yeah, I'm just gonna pop down the road, or yeah, I'm traveling towards you. It's, I'm moving towards my destiny. I'm going to tell this person that I'm absolutely crazy about, that I adore you. And I feel like it's been for a while. It's not, this isn't just, oh, I've fancied you for a week. I'm like, what is that with my buoys today? Um, it's not like I've just fancied you for a week. I don't feel like that. I feel like this is very much, yeah, I'd say months, if not months, years. Like, say, <clears throat> yeah, years, because my, <clears throat> my throat chakra is, um, <clears throat> yeah, they're stopping me from talking because they don't want me to tell you. <laughs> don't want me to tell you the secrets. I just got told, no, 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 no. So yeah. What's the true thoughts and feelings of Aquarius's love and trust? True thoughts and feelings of Aquarius's love and trust. That was, I've just seen one. Oh. 
Oh, look at that card. It's like poking up. Do you want this one? Yeah. What's the true thoughts and feelings of Aquarius's love interest? True. Ooh, thank you. That one came out with power. I want to know what that one is. <clears throat> I'm afraid if you touch me, you will destroy me. That's before this tower moment. I can feel it. Because they were scared. They've they've been like this this ten of swords is in reverse. You've both been through pain. You both know what it's like to be hurt and you're both most probably really, really scared of coming forward and telling this person how you feel because you don't want to be hurt, you don't want to be let down. But you're both getting to the point where you can't hold back any longer. You're like my long lost best friend. Love isn't always on time. Please be patient with me. Can we kiss all night? What did I say? All those nights being awake, fantasizing about each other. Can we kiss all night? Yes, please. Our love can power galaxies. Yes, it can. You're not usually my type, but I like it a lot. I want to give you the world. Wow. Not really one bad card, so I'm happy about that. Let me just turn these. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm just sh shuffling the cards. Can I have a lover's oracle card for, whoop, for Aquarius? Can I have a lover's oracle card for Aquarius? Sorry. Lover's oracle card for Aquarius. One more they just said. Whoop, that one, isn't it? Yeah, I can feel it. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Which is, I feel like, is what you've been doing. I feel like this is the first person that is giving you the time alone that you needed to heal, the, the space that you needed to get on with your work life or sort out your home life. I feel like you're being very patient with each other and understanding each other's situation and not putting that pressure on each other, which is amazing, amazing. You you know deeper than your heart that you two are meant to be and you're understanding it and you know everything will be okay and you know that this person is going to be in your life no matter what because you have so much passion and love for this person and I feel like you always will. Acceptance is key, is the key to inner peace at times. We must accept the things as they are, which is what I just said. There is no point trying to change what is beyond our, beyond our control, which is literally what I just said. Sacred union. Honour and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. Yes, it is. And I feel like that's why you two are coming towards each other. That's why you two have this knowing. It's like I feel with my whole being that you're meant to be in my life. Like I feel with my whole being that I'm meant to be by your side. I'm meant to support you and you're meant to be with me. Like I just feel you. I just have this knowing. And I feel like you, you've felt this for a long time. Like, look at that. That's like true contentment. That's just feeling at peace in each other's company, you know? I just seen a couple like teasing each other, but they've got like strawberries and like somebody's like, there's like a strawberry that's been cut in half. And I see the masculine dip in the strawberry and him teasing the feminine. And every time she goes to bite it, he's like pulling it away. And she's just like, do you want me to bite it? 
because he wants to see what it's like. <laughs> oh God, guys, God, it's getting worse. Oh, it's getting worse. It's literally getting worse. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit of a foodie, so anything to do with food and a, a really good looking masculine is like, whew, yeah, definitely. Oh, you want me to shuffle? No problem. No problem. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all okay. I know times are really, really hard. I just want you to all know I am here for every single one of you. I am so honoured and grateful to have you all in my life. Seriously, you are my spiritual family. And if you ever need to talk, just go to my Instagram. Everything is linked down below and I will talk to you. I will literally talk to you. Because I know times can be hard. Could I have a shuffle card for Aquarius? A shuffle card for Aquarius, please. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Can I have a shuffle card for Aquarius? Thank you. Oh, trust, trust it to be that. So, uh, yes. Sacral chakra. This is why the sex and the passion has been on your mind. <laughs> Self worth. Self worth. And it is water element. I am worthy. I listened to to my needs and desires and honour myself. I give myself the time, space and loving kindness that I need to make manifest all that I am. I discover my true self by going inward and becoming my own best friend. I nurture. Sacral chakra again, water element, letting go. I release repressed or trapped emotions and their associated beliefs with ease and grace. Where appropriate, I let go of those peoples and situations that permeate hurts and unease on me. I release my investment in staying safe and stuck. I surrender trust and I allow the light to guide me. I release. Yes, you have. This is why the Ten of Swords is in reverse. Because you've let go of all those people. You've let go of all those karmic cycles. You've let go of those people that didn't have nothing but disrespect and toxic energy towards you. Because, see, my love, if somebody sees that you're doing well for yourself if somebody sees that you've escalated your career or you're just literally loving yourself so say if you've had a glow up right you've lost weight you've worked out you've done something with your luck I, i'm seeing very much you've really changed up things your um really working on yourself, you're loving yourself, you're most probably doing your nails, you're most probably doing your hair, or if you're masculine, you're doing things that you've never done before. So maybe you're having treatments, maybe you're going buying those clothes that you have always like really wanted, or I'm seeing a really nice brown pair of shoes. Hmm. They suit you. Um, yeah, and I'm seeing that people are jealous. I'm seeing that um, in particular, there is a, a family member that is quite jealous of who you've become, for how beautiful or handsome you are, for your abundance, because I feel like everything that you touch is just so fruitful. It's just so fruitful. And everybody wants to be around you because you're just so loving and so kind. You're always giving back to others. 
you're naturally beautiful, you're naturally caring, you're naturally abundant because you have a lot of willpower, determination. I feel like you're you're so determined to like succeed that you're not gonna let anything help like help hold you back. And I feel like you're only interested in people and only being involved with people that have that frequency. And that's why you're heading towards this person. And I feel like you don't even give a shit who says anything about it. If somebody doesn't accept this love interest in your life, I don't give a shit. Because that's where my happiness is. And if you can't accept what makes me happy, then I'm sorry, but bye. Make sure you um, block karmic exes though. I feel like there is somebody in your life that is very karmic, very nasty, only wants bad things of you, doesn't respect you. I feel like they're talking about you nastily. I am very, very seeing that. Block them. <clears throat> yeah, block them. <coughs> they don't want me telling you that. It's funny because I see that you've got an ex that is like a really good friend that is nurturing you and taking care of you and you can message them and they're always there for you giving advice as much as you are with them. But then there's the, the toxic one, the narcissistic one that doesn't like that you're happy, especially that you're talking to the ex that is nice. Maybe this is who you're coming back with. The one that's away. I just got told. Maybe that'll clarify for you. Yeah, the one that's away. So I hope this resonated. I hope this brought you clarity and understanding into your situation. I hope that you really are all well. And I just wanna thank you for all the love and support. Whether you're a new subscriber or an old subscriber, I appreciate you and I am so grateful for you. And I, and I, I really do feel honored for, for all the love and support that you've given me. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journey. I'll see you next time, lovelies. Bye.